How to think like Armin Arlet from Attack on Titan. Now it's without a doubt that one of the most strategic characters from the entire Attack on Titan show is none other than Armin Arlet. This not so intimidating physically scrawny lad is one of the biggest reasons as to why humanity was able to see progress that they hadn't seen for a very long time. With absolutely badass characters such as Mikasa, Levi and Erwin, it's easy to understand as to why Armin gets overlooked as a character. But in reality, he is one of the most important characters in the entire Attack on Titan universe. At the beginning of the Attack on Titan show, we get this feeling that there is no way in the world that humanity lives in can ever progress forward. I mean, I'm sure you can remember the second you saw the Colossal Titan and you just sit in there thinking, holy shit, after witnessing all the death and destruction that it caused. Now, I guess it gave you the feeling of hopelessness and it led you to the thought of, how the hell can humanity fight back against such a monstrous threat? But if we fast forward some time later, we see that this scrawny little kid that everyone used to pick on in season one turns out to be the actual mastermind behind crushing the colossal titan. Alongside this, we also see him deduce enemies within the walls, outwit and defeat Kenny's gang of highly trained soldiers. And alongside many other strategic achievements, we see how Armin becomes a character that is heavily relied on when it comes to deducing as to what is going to be the next move. Which leads us to the question of, how does Armin do it? What strategies does Armin use in order to become such a powerful military commander and strategist? Well, one of the first strategies that he uses comes down to the 13th strategy of war. Know your enemy. The intelligent strategy. The target of your strategies should be less the army you face than the mind of the man or woman who runs it. If you understand how their mind works, you then have the key to deceiving and controlling it. Train yourself to read people, picking up signals that they unconsciously send about their innermost thoughts and intentions. A friendly front will let you watch them closely and mind them for information. Beware of projecting your own emotions and mental habits onto them. Try to think as they would think. By finding your opponent's psychological weaknesses, you can then work to unhinge their minds. And this is one powerful strategy that Armin uses in order to become such a powerful strategic thinker. The greatest power that you can have in life would come neither from limitless resources or strong IQ levels. It would come from clear knowledge of the people and the situation around you. The ability to read them like a book. Given that knowledge, you could distinguish friend from foe. You can anticipate your enemy's malice, pierce their strategies and take defensive action. Armed with that knowledge, you can make them tumble into your traps and destroy them. I mean, there are countless examples of where Armin demonstrates this in the show. One of my favorites being the battle between the scouts and Kenny's crew. Kenny! Kenny's crew was without a doubt one of the toughest enemies the scouts had to face. I mean, the fact of them being human beings alone was a tough enough situation for the scouts to deal with. And that's not to even mention their upgraded weapons and maneuverability skills. But watch how Armin's detailed analysis of the enemy and situation overcomes all that by providing the scouts with opportunities to exploit their enemy's strengths and compensations for their own weaknesses. つまり敵の背面側は完全に射程外だ。何よりも弱点は2発撃たせてしまえば 
次の装填まで時間がかかること。Even though Mikasa and Levi are absolute beasts at what they do, we can clearly see that if it wasn't for Armin's strong analysis of the situation, which he was able to derive a strong strategy from, the scouts would have definitely not have experienced this crazy level of success. Sun Tzu once said, "He who knows the enemy and himself will never, in a hundred battles, be at risk." This whole concept not only alludes to fighting enemies. But it also can be applied to problem solving. What Armin demonstrates is that yes, at first, any task or opponent can seem monumental and intimidating, but by taking the time out to analyze and gather intelligence on the situation, it allows you to see through the intimidation and highlights the cracks in your enemy's plans that you can pick at. By doing so, you can then devise the most effective tactics. Based on your insights. Now, just to be clear, even though knowing your enemy is powerful, knowledge alone isn't enough. I mean, yes, you can sit down and find out everything there is about your enemy or problem, but if you don't know how to use that information into your favor, then you're better off knowing nothing at all. Knowledge isn't power unless applied, which leads me to the second strategy that Armin implements into his battle plans. In order to become the master strategist that he is, which is the sixteenth strategy of war, hit them where it hurts. The center of gravity strategy. Everyone has a source of power on which he or she depends on. When you look at your rivals, search below the surface for that source. The center of gravity that holds the entire structure together. That center can be anything. It could be their wealth, their popularity, a key position, a winning strategy. But the point is, by hitting them in a place where they derive power from, it will inflict disproportionate pain. Find out what the other side most cherishes and protects. This is where you must strike. Now, as I said before. It's great to have all the information in the world, but if you don't know what to do with that information, then you might as well have none at all. The point here is that in order to successfully devise and execute a powerful strategy, you must look beyond the physical aspects of your opponent and identify what is the support on which the opposition's power rests on. I mean, take a look at this scene right here, where Reiner and Bertolt have captured Eren. And after countless attempts of trying to retrieve Eren back, watch how Armin is able to get into Bertolt's mind, which opens up an opportunity for the scouts to retrieve Eren back by hitting him where it psychologically hurts. いいの、二人とも仲間を置き去りにしたまま故郷に帰って。<笑>兄を置いていくの。兄なら今、極北のユトピア区の地下深くで拷問を受けてるよ。<笑>彼女の悲鳴を聞けばすぐに、体の傷は治せても痛みを消すことができないことは分かった。死なないように最新の注意が払われる中、今この瞬間にも兄の体には休む暇もなく、さまざまな工夫を施された拷問が悪魔の末裔が根絶やしにしてやる。You see what I mean? Often. What separates a mediocre strategist to a superior one is not necessarily their strategies or maneuvers, but it's their vision. They simply look at the same problem but from a different angle. Unlike everyone else, Armin understood that trying to take Eren back by pure force was time-consuming and posing a greater risk to the scouts. So he worked his way into Bertolt's mind 
using both the intelligence strategy and center of gravity strategy by pushing a button that caused Bertolt to have an emotional reaction, that being surrounding his strong love for Annie. And once Armin had control of his mind, he was then able to control Bertolt himself. <laughs> It is completely natural in war, or when you're facing a problem, to concentrate on the physical aspects of things. Factors such as their size, their strength and mobility. Now there's no doubt that this is important and is an aspect you should never neglect. But in order to elevate your levels of strategic thinking, you must approach situations accordingly and ask different questions. Instead of questions such as, how big is the enemy, what equipment do they have, and the strength of their resources. You ask yourself questions, such as what makes the army itself move? Instead of focusing on the soldiers themselves, you identify who is the one that guides its actions. Instead of worrying about their vast size and the amount of resources they have, you ask yourself, what is the underlying source of strength that they rely upon? These are the exact types of questions that Armin asks himself, and is what will take your level of thinking to a whole new level. It's about getting to the fundamental foundational pillars of someone's strength, and concentrating your forces on that one aspect, knocking them out one by one. I mean in Season 3 Part 2, we see Armin try to use the emotional Annie tactic against Bertolt again. But this time, it doesn't work. This is where Armin makes a crucial mistake, as you should never use the same strategy against the same person more than once, as it will always hold less weight compared to the first time you use it. This mistake causes Armin to feel overwhelmed, and it seems like he has lost control of the entire situation. But in typical Armin fashion, he buckles himself down and gets back to what he does best. By combining the intelligence strategy and the center of gravity strategy, he is able to devise a strategy and scheme to take out the colossal titan. やっぱり超大型巨人は消耗戦に弱い。エレンの実験を思い出して。続けた巨人ができるのは3回まで。15メートルの巨人はもっと燃料効率が悪いはずだ。熱風を使った攻撃もあれは多分骨格以外の全
his hands. アルミを吹き飛ばせない。なぜアンカーが外れないんだ。近づくことはできないはずなのに。やっぱりこれは消費しないんだ。肉に刺さなければアンカーは抜けない。そして何より熱を放っている間は筋肉を動かせない。けど
The channel itself has always been a little side hobby of mine, and the character breakdowns that I make are not easy to create. And it does take me a lot of time to break down the characters you want to see. But with all the love and support that I've been seeing as the channel continues to grow, it really makes me feel that it's all worthwhile. So I just want to say on behalf of myself and the Golden Knowledge team, thank you so much for all your support. And to celebrate us hitting 10k, I'm going to be launching something very special for you very soon. It's been about 6 to 12 months in the making and it still needs a lot more work on, but it's been something that I've been working, creating and researching on non-stop for nearly over a year now. But I'm telling you, when it launches, it is going to be an absolute game changer for you. Now, I'm not going to give too much away just yet, but let's just say if you love the character breakdowns that we create and you're always left with wanting and wondering more on how you can think more strategically and powerfully as a person, then make sure you click the link in the description to sign up for our email list as you'll be then the first to know more about what we're creating for you and how it's going to be an absolute game changer for your life and for your business. So make sure you click the link in the description and sign up to get notified because I'm telling you right now, you definitely won't regret it. And if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment below on what your thoughts and feelings are about Armin. Comment some of your favorite lesson and quotes from him below and let me know what character breakdown would you like to see next. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and to all our loyal subscribers, we are glad you are here. We do some of the best character breakdowns on the whole of YouTube and we aim to produce at least one high quality animated video per week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any golden knowledge. I'll see you soon.